I was literally part of the team that opened this place some 10 years ago. It was dramatic to come in here post-construction, blow the sawdust off the table and get to work building the first broadcast for the channel. Even with all the experiences of that first year and, and being here 10 years later, everything we've done since, nothing compares to the tension-filled news period of that summer of 2014, all leading up to the ground invasion of Gaza. Day seven, Israel Defense Force Operation Protective Edge. I was in the studio Israel under rocket sirens, rocket. rocket attacks, where there'd be one person left in the control room, me sitting there seeing the newsroom clearing out the corner of my eye and continuing to talk to the camera about the moment we were in. Israel confronts Hamas in and around the Gaza Strip. Well, joining me now on set is... I've been exposed to the conflict for many years, but something about that summer was just so much more unsettling than anything ever before. Maybe something inside me knew that there was more coming. The big night came uh, the night of the IDF ground invasion of Gaza. And we were here till well after two in the morning covering that, exhausted. You know, I went home, I think it was by 7 a.m. already. The IDF was calling me, one of the uh, mobile reserves here, sending them off to the war. We got those phone calls, and by Friday night, we were already told by our officers we'd be inside Gaza in 48 hours. I mean, you're going from one minute, you're, you're in your job, you're in your normal life, the next minute you're being sent off to war. A collective experience that so many had that summer. It was a wholly unique experience. You know, for me, covering the war, telling the story to the international audience, to covering those soldiers, to the next day being one of those soldiers out there on the front lines. I mean, truly, it's given me perspective that I've carried with me here ever since on covering this conflict.